All right, day one. So for everybody out there watching, uh, as of now, um, I found out last night uh, around roughly around 3 a.m. Uh, a little bit before that, but um, currently, as of now, Donald Trump is the president-elect. He's going to be president of the United States. God help us all. And I found out uh, from my wife, um, I find this kind of funny. Um, she said that, uh, she told me that a website that had to deal with Canada, for instance, um, was flooded the with... The Canadian immigration website, y'all. That's what got... Shut down because we're all <laughs> trying to run from the U.S. Oh, the front row what? If you can hear that, I think you can. They already know because I think I already told them on my, on my, on my video. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a pleasing notion that he could be E's president. Uh, I think he's going to screw up big time his first time out. The bad part about it is the fact that Everybody's going to talk about it. Just, I'm not the only one. So, um, if you want to say what's on your mind, be my guest. It's not going to bother me. Because I wouldn't have voted for him. I think he's a dick, an idiot, an asinine bullshitter. Plain and simple. That's how I think about it. That's how I think of him. And if I really don't care if he's watching or Secret Service watching, I don't give a shit. Okay? You don't have to watch it if you don't want to. I don't give a shit if they are or not. It makes no difference to me. All I know is the fact that A, he is a dick. Okay? His only sense of knowledge is his sense of this, which is not knowledge at all. He's got a swelled head. That's what I meant by that. He's got a swelled head. Uh, his ego is about the size of his head. So the bigger his ego, the bigger his swelled head gets. And he's got such a chip on his shoulder. God help us. We might all die from it falling off. Trust me, I got a lot on my mind to say, but right now I'm just going to try and keep it short. So, I understand if you got things to say, nah, I, trust me. I would have voted for Hillary if I'd had the chance. She would have been better off being president than him. So... That's who I would have wanted instead of him. And that's what I did want instead of him. Everybody knows that uh, him becoming president is pretty much a repeat of another president we had that were had a term for two years, uh, Richard Nixon. So history is repeating itself from Richard Nixon being president to Donald Trump being president. And everybody, if everybody knows from uh, being R Richard Nixon's uh, turn, two years in his four-term office, what he did at Watergate, which he kind of fucked up on his part, uh, which ended up him becoming, which him leaving office on his own after being found out. Uh, what Donald Trump's doing currently, or wants to do, he wants to eliminate a lot of uh, federal programs, which happens to be housing. Okay, which is you know Section Eight housing. He would want. He wants to eliminate that. He wants to eliminate Social Security. He wants to eliminate disability. He wants to eliminate food stamps. He wants to eliminate WIC. He wants to eliminate uh, Medicaid or Medicare. Uh, 
he wants to eliminate those kind of programs. He wants to, uh, some of the other programs he wants to eliminate is um, uh, federal Pell Grants for students in college. He don't care about the loan part. God forbid if he gets rid of the loan part. I wish he would, but unfortunately he's getting rid of the stuff that actually matters instead of the stuff that doesn't matter. And the stuff that does matter, it's going to put this country so far back. I figure it's going to put this country back six, by 60 years behind. He's already talking about deporting um, Hispanic uh, citizens who are already currently U.S. citizens. Anybody who's not a natural U.S. citizen, he's saying Hispanics, anybody from other countries. Uh, he's even thinking about, and he said this himself, he's even thinking about deporting people that are from South America or sending people to South America such as uh, the African American communities and he's really really pissing people off he's got me pissed off big time I mean you just don't do that to people and I also think he's probably going to end up uh, his first time out I think he's going to a uh, gas prices. I know are going to rise for sure. Uh, cost of living is definitely going to rise for sure. Uh, a gallon of milk today uh, is like three something in the stores. Well, when he gets further into into it, I'm pretty sure it's going to cost nearly ten dollars for a gallon of milk uh, for what we pay on gas currently. I'm looking at like a a dollar eighty eight or dollar eighty nine. Okay, what we pay for gas now, and we take it for granted. I know we do. What it costs now, since he's in office, we're going to end up paying three times the amount that we currently pay now. Some of us are paying two dollars a gallon. Well. I, it's going to be about three times the amount, three times that amount. So we're probably going to be paying almost the same amount as a gallon of milk. For real, I mean, that's inflation big time on his part. So I told a lot of people be ready for a roller coaster ride that's never going to end. Uh, I have a feeling, and I strictly have a feeling that his reign of terror is going to be the end of him or the end of his term who knows he could be in office for one month and be impeached for a lot of the stuff he wants to do i mean i know a lot of some of the stuff he wants to do has to be voted but since he's got the republican vote it just might happen. Who knows? I'm hoping it doesn't. But I really don't want none of that stuff to happen, to be honest. Uh, but I'm also thinking that he wants to bring uh, money back to us, you know, businesses and stuff like that. I get that. But. His idea, I guess, has to be we get nothing from any other countries. We are pretty much closing our, he, in a sense, the way he's got it in his mind, I guess, is closing all U.S. borders to every country. To where no one comes into this country unless you currently live here which is kind of stupid. Closing the borders to the U.S. altogether from other countries. That's kind of stupid. He even says for business-wise, 
uh, closing the borders to Mexico permanently, closing the borders to Canada permanently. I mean, I can understand why people are wanting to go to Canada because he's not president. Can you blame him? I sure as hell can't. <laughs> I I suggested the same thing to, to my brother Matt I, and my wife. and God forbid if they both agree. Hell, if my brother made a joke that instead of going to Canada, why not go to Australia? Um, there was a lot of people up at my job um, that were generally pissed off. <clears throat> Everybody was talking about it up at my job. I mean, who's not? Everybody's going to be talking about it constantly. So, <sighs> say what you want, get it off your chest. I've just barely scratched the surface of what I want to say. So, have at it.